Hello everybody, welcome to the studio. So today we are in the studio and we are going to have a look uh, at the construction of this studio, the design, the construction, the build process. And uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna run through the studio and I'm gonna show you uh, all the little construction highlights or uh, you know the things that I wanted for sure to happen uh, with the build of the studio. So uh, let's probably go and start from the outside in. So what we have for our studio here is a, uh, a just a garage. Uh, this started as just a 24 by 24 foot garage on a concrete slab there. Um, we're out in the country and you can hear the road noise. It's a Sunday afternoon, the trucks are a flying. Uh, so that was a consideration for some of the build stuff that we had going on inside, but uh, for the most part, uh, just a garage. I probably wouldn't do a garage door again. Uh, that was problematic don't know why i let that happen but uh let's go ahead go on inside so uh at one of the things we'll see uh, around the studio is that uh i've i've set this whole place up on a dante network um so all of my audio inputs and outputs are all on a network and so that was definitely a part of the construction um, and i did that to uh make things really easy and really save money too um, it was pretty cost effective to wire the whole place up just with ethernet network stuff so check out my Dante videos if you want to know more about that. I've got lots to say on it. It's all over my channel. Um, but a good uh, thing to point out, we've got right here, uh, network access for you know, the front area with the deck and such. Um, and so you'll see as we come in the studio, there's network ports everywhere. There, 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 over there, over here, in the bathroom. There's isolation rooms on each side of the main control room and they all have network ports. Um, and so there'll be lots of chatter about that later. We'll talk about that. But so as I look around the room here, uh, what are the things besides Boomer the dog who wants to play always, what are the things that uh, were necessary in this room? So the building itself could only be so big, you know, because I'm not a millionaire. I only have so much money. And, uh, you know, so we wanted to make this whole thing happen in as reasonable a, a way as we could. Um, so uh, I think we were going to do 30 by 30 at first, but uh, saved a lot of money just by going to 24 by 24. Um, so stepped it back a little. It's just big enough to uh, get things done that we need to. And so the control room there in the middle, two ISOs on each side, a bathroom and a, and a live room, like a main room here. And as you can see, our main room is big enough to have a drum kit in it and for people to stand around in uh, and to get some you know live band action done if needed. I do all my drums for songs out here usually um there's a tv up there for and that's connected to the network and all that stuff so anything you want to pipe through it that'll be helpful you can or if you just want to watch some stuff um so uh, all the treatment throughout the place uh was made by me diy videos uh in my diy playlist check it out um and so <clears throat> all of the uh from the construction standpoint, all of these walls, nothing's parallel or anything like this one, this one, or like that. Uh, this one over here, I believe is seven degrees off square, all the way back to that back corner behind the door. Um, you know, and of course all these angles and stuff. This whole thing was designed by a guy in Berlin uh, who is an audio, uh, an audio acoustician or whatever that is. Uh, I've just butchered this profession. Sorry. Uh, but so he did a great job, uh, hooked me up with this great stellar plan for the studio, and we followed it as good as we could. Um, and so these guys, uh, these things around here, these are just lockers, basically. There's a helmet on there, so can't really lift it up. But I've got two guitar cases in there right now, uh, actually. Um, but instead of building out full closets to put junk in, I just kind of built a couple of these lockers around the place. Um, so... This is one of the ISO rooms. Up in that guy is a water heater, so I put a gooseneck on it, and uh, you can stand in here and do vocals in a nice, quiet spot. Right now, this is doing a uh, guitar cabinet. And so uh, you can see over here, I've got my Ethernet ports, of course. Uh, over here, we've got uh, hardline mic connections. Uh, those are Neutrik, uh, so you can do a quarter-inch balance or a, a mic line. And so connect a mic into the control room uh, to my rig there. And uh, that's what I use generally for my guitar. My amp head is in there. Um, hi, Boomer. 
And so there's actually, uh, like I said, there's network stuff all over here. There's four more ports. These are direct in out of the control room to go just to here in case I need it. Um, here's four more Noitrix just to, uh, you know, redundancy. And, you know, I run stuff in and out of there. Uh, you never know what's going to happen. Um, and more network connectivity, etc. I've also these combo jacks that I've got on the outside of this thing, uh, connecting all spaces, really. Uh, the combo jacks have HDMI lines in them, uh, as well as the network things uh, and uh, USB power ports. And so the HDMI lines are actually somewhat uh, handy. You can uh, run different odd things through them. I haven't really used them yet, but it's like, why not? We'll throw them in there. Um, <clears throat> I do all of like uh, MIDI stuff goes over network. So I can plug this guy into the network thing, you know, like over here. And I've got, well, I've got a network interface for it. And you know end up controlling uh playing the stuff from in there like through here it makes it uh, really fun for jams and stuff like that of course and for sessions you can't be beat you can have a controller a controller an iphone uh, an ipad all connected to the whole system so before we stray away that brings me to the windows uh so a big part of this studio build is the fact that this room is completely decoupled from this room and everything else um so while it may look like these walls are solid, kind of that that's a big giant thick wall, glare is kind of annoying. Um, what we actually have going on here is two walls um, and I can detail the construction for that later, but uh, basically, and I've got probably some diagrams I could dig up and show you, but uh, basically what you're looking at here is you've got two layers uh, of drywall, one half and five eighths, uh, then studs, then insulation, then three inches of air, uh, then you've got more insulation and studs, then you've got a, a resilient channel, uh, and then you've got two more layers of drywall on the inside there, a uh, half inch and five eighths inch. Uh, and so that's the wall in the middle. This is a mesh tape uh, that's then painted, been painted over a bunch of times until it kind of filled itself in. Um, the glass is three eighths inch, so it's a it's, it's bomber heavy. Uh, I probably could have done different thicknesses on each side later after the fact. I kind of realized that uh, that might have been a good idea. But, uh, you know, build processes get long and crazy. And this one was no different. Um, and so uh, it was a lot to manage, uh, especially when you consider the fact that, like, these windows, every single side is a different dimension. Every single one. This one was not the same as that one. It was not the same as that one. It was not the same as that one. Um, so... All of that was going on, and you can see there are one, two, three, four, five of these double windows. So I might have uh, I might have done less windows if I was to do this again. But other than that, I'm really happy with everything. But so uh, that was a lot of work uh, to get all those in, you know, to get everything measured, get those guys cut right. Uh, it all worked out perfectly. I didn't have a one single problem with any of that. They fit just right. Um, and so that was the windows and stuff. Uh, the doors are basically mostly exterior doors. I think the bathroom door is the only like interior door. Um, but the other ones were exterior doors. And so they're totally kind of sealed in metal and thick and they're ready to go like off the bat. They're kind of pricey, but uh, that's just kind of how we ended up rolling it. So here's a kind of a good cross view of uh, the, the wall and stuff. So of course, to get into the studio here, which as we said, is a decoupled room. Um, we gotta have two doors. So that's what we've got. Yippity splippity. Uh, two doors. One of these days I will cover this out and seal that off. Just haven't got around to it yet. Um, but so we explained how those walls worked. Um, this might be able to see. That is one of the U-boat uh, things. It's just like a rubber puck. There's 303 of them that uh, go all throughout this floor. And so this is the control room. Um, it's currently got some of my video gear in it for these YouTube videos. Um, but generally, you know, it's just, a, just enough kind of a little control room. Uh, you can fit a couple of folks in here if need be. And so uh, we've got power, electric stuff kind of on this side and to the middle. Um, and then over back here are my network ports. And so from back there, we can connect to every room, every wall, every spot throughout the entire building. Um, and that little guy feeds into this tiny little Cisco router. And uh, 
There's my MIDI connector, actually, too. Um, that little router, that connects everything up. And uh, there's the main workstation. And so, and then, you know, nothing too crazy or fancy going on. Uh, I do grow hemp legally on my property here in Tennessee. Um, so if you see stuff like this around my videos, that's just a jar of hemp. Uh, totes legal. And so this is the, uh, the control room. Like I said, nothing fancy. Uh, it's just, just enough to get everything done. Uh, and so, uh, I can't think of, uh, other than that, you know, the, uh, everything what we, I blew in insulation, uh, like up to the, up into the attic and stuff. I insulated all the walls with, you know, just regular, as you can see the pink insulation or whatever, 17 or 16 or something. Uh, this is a little utility room too, around about this. Just got a little workbench, more lockers to fill stuff in that, you know. And a uh, little pegboard, hang cords that doesn't get used enough because stuff's still all over the floor everywhere. I'm just like everybody else, right? Just all over the floor. I spy you. Um, and so uh, I guess that pretty much rounds things out. Uh, that, the insulation, uh, yeah, the, all the walls, I did the normal stuff and uh, blew in a lot of insulation uh, up above. And I blew in a, a extra a lot up above this whole area. The control room part, so uh, basically what you end up with, I didn't spend a lot of time, the outer walls aren't doubled. Um, I didn't spend a lot of time uh, doing uh, like any of that kind of crazy stuff on the outside because mostly what will be happening out here will be loud things. Um, and so, yeah, really with the door open uh, and r like noise from road or forest animals, etc. It's like, uh, I think it goes... 45 kind of decibels uh, with things open and uh, you close it up and in this main room you get down to like 30 uh, you close this this up and go into here uh, and you drop another 12 to 15 decibels again uh, maybe just 10 I don't remember um, but so you know what you end up with uh, what does this yield you uh, is it worth all the trouble uh, etc you're thinking about maybe building a studio should I go to the trouble to build a whole like room in a room and all this stuff um, if you if you have the time, if you have the means and you can pull it off, I say, yeah, absolutely. Because um, it's not soundproof. It's really, really hard to get a room to be like really soundproof. Um, you're going to spend a lot of time and a lot of money to get it there and do a lot of different things. And so I didn't do them all. Um, I did a lot of them. I could have done them all. And uh, I don't know, I just didn't. But uh, it's totally good enough. I can sit in there. Uh, and mix drums at the console at the desk there and uh, while someone's out here playing the drums um, you know I can totally sit right there and only hear what's coming through you know my monitors and don't hear this at all um, which is great and have stuff pumping out in the ISO rooms and so it's great uh, it's worked out fantastic for us uh, for me and uh trying to think of anything else that might be interesting in an overview uh, that's probably way too much for an overview video so uh Stay tuned. Check out the uh, the rest of this playlist. I'm going to keep filling it up. I'm going to talk about every little spot uh, and every little thing that we did to make this build happen. Believe me, it was not easy. Uh, contractors, etc. cetera. Uh, it was just, it was not, it was not easy. I'll tell you all about it. Check back later. Ciao.